Linux was created in 1991 by Finnish student Linus Torvalds as his personal project. He simply wanted to make a free and open alternative to a commercial Unix system that would run on his home computer. Linux is not a complete operating system, but rather a kernel around which various distributions are built, with user interfaces, programs, and system utilities. The first version of the Linux kernel contained just over 10,000 lines of code and was uploaded to the internet with an invitation for the community to join the development. The name Linux appeared by accident when the administrator of the site where the first version was hosted suggested this name for the FTP directory. Although Linux is often associated with Unix, it was actually written from scratch and does not contain the original Unix source code. Already in 1992, Linux came under the free GNU GPL license, which ensured its rapid spread and the involvement of thousands of developers around the world. One of the key features of Linux is the package management system, which allows centralized installation, updating, and removal of software. The Linux kernel can run on many processor architectures, including x86, ARM, RISCV, PowerPC, and others. In Linux, everything, including hardware, processes, sockets, and even system settings, is represented as files, which simplifies administration and automation. There are hundreds of active Linux distributions, each tailored for specific tasks. Ubuntu Server is one of the most popular distributions for server infrastructure, used by large companies, cloud platforms, and hosting providers. Providers. Kaylee Linux is a distribution developed for information security professionals and ethical hackers and includes hundreds of penetration testing tools. Linux Mint offers a user-friendly interface and simple installation, which is why it's often recommended to those just starting out with Linux. Today, the majority of servers on the internet, including web servers, databases, and mail systems, run on Linux due to its stability, security, and openness. The Android operating system, which occupies more than 70% of the smartphone market, is built on a modified Linux kernel. A huge number of household appliances and smart devices, such as TVs, routers, and cars, use Linux as their embedded operating system. Even aboard the International Space Station, NASA computers were switched to Linux because of its reliability, scalability, and code transparency. In the U.S. defense industry, the Linux kernel is used in various autonomous systems and even in nuclear submarines. Tesla electric cars use a modified version of Linux in their onboard systems to control the interface, navigation, and autopilot. When creating Hollywood special effects and 3D animation, studios often use Linux clusters as they allow efficient resource distribution during rendering. Even simple devices such as ATMS often run on minimalist Linux distributions. The Linux kernel is constantly evolving. Every few weeks, a new stable version is released with improvements, fixes, and support for new hardware. Microsoft, which previously considered Linux a threat, now not only supports it in Windows through the Windows subsystem for Linux, but also actively contributes to kernel development. Linux is used in many universities and educational institutions as the basis for courses on programming, operating systems, and computer networks. Many Linux servers run for months or even years without the need for a reboot. The symbol of Linux is a penguin named Tux, a character created by artist Larry Ewing, who became the unofficial mascot of the system. Munich was one of the first cities to massively switch to Linux in government institutions, although it later returned to Windows. Virtually all blockchain nodes in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies run on Linux. Linux has no registry. Configurations are stored in simple text files. Almost everything in Linux is logged. You can find out what happened on the system a week ago down to the second. Each user has their own home directory, and the settings for almost all applications are stored there. Unlike Windows, in Linux, you can manually load or unload any kernel driver via ModProbe and RMMod. On the same machine, you can install several different versions of Linux, and they can coexist without conflicts. Linux can operate without a screen, keyboard, or mouse. It can live as the autonomous brain of any device. The system can boot directly from RAM without touching the hard drive and still function fully. Most viruses are written for Windows. Linux is almost immune to them. File and folder names are case sensitive, meaning file.txt and file.txt are two different files. In Windows, case does not matter. This would be the same file. Linux was the first operating system to feature drivers supporting USB 3.0. In an interview with Wired, Linus Torvalds revealed that around 2000, Steve Jobs offered him a position at Apple to work on a Unix-based kernel and insisted that Linus stop working on Linux. Linus Torvalds, of course, declined the offer. 
Unlike other operating systems that require a licensing fee, Linux can be freely used, distributed, and modified. In Linux, every element of the interface can be changed from icons to window behavior. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube all use Linux on their servers. Linus Torvalds called Linux just a hobby, not intended to compete with GNU. Linux can be configured for two-factor authentication in the console via PAM. Linux supports dozens of languages and scripts, including ideographs and Arabic script. Linux is not owned by any country or corporation. In 1996, Asteroid 9793 was named after Linus Torvalds. Technical support is usually provided by other Linux users, often via web forums. In 2024, cybersecurity experts from Aqua Security discovered a dangerous malware called PerfCTL, which managed to infect several thousand machines running Linux. In the beginning, configuring and installing Linux required a computer running Minix. 